This is a GCS News Break. Good morning. Principal Sherry Keels greets students as they arrive at the STEM Early College at North Carolina A&T. Today, though, she has a special guest visitor with her. David Walensky, the facilities manager for Boom Supersonic, is shadowing her. He's one of more than 100 community members who are taking part in the annual Principal for a Day event sponsored by the Guilford Education Alliance. I love the opportunity to share what's going on at my school, all the awesomeness of STEM Early College. Um, as you know, we're the number two school in the state of North Carolina, so I love telling people how we do that. How do we educate students? How do we provide a safe environment for students? How do we prepare our teachers to teach students for the 21st century? So it's always a pleasure for me to have community members to come in and me tell them all of that information, all the good stuff about STEM Early College. Do classes utilize any of the labs at NCA and T? And he said sometimes they do, they go to some of, on the field trips. Oh yeah, um, he takes them on the field trips to the robotics labs, the drone labs, and we talked about um, the amazing um, Martin building. The choice of a STEM school seems like a perfect match for Walensky. Boom Supersonic builds supersonic airliners. Their Overture Super Factory is currently under construction at PTI Airport and is expected to begin production in 2024. The company will eventually employ thousands of people and create internships as well, something that could be very beneficial to these students as they head toward college. Principal Kiel says the opportunity to partner with Boom Supersonic in the future is exciting. A lot of the times businesses in the community want to help in the schools, but they may not know how to go about doing so. And so this is a great way for the, the schools and the communities to connect and open up those doors of opportunities for partnerships. I hope he takes away all of the um, great things that we're doing here back to his company and there's opportunities for our students to get internships and um, for more visitors to come into STEM to see what we're doing and for our students to take field trips so they can see all of the work that they're doing in the classroom, how that applies to future careers and possibly co careers in, at, at his company one day. This has been a GCS News Break.